What pick am I going to? Uh, 1800. Oh, 18,000, right. my bad. 18,000, yeah. Add another, another zero. Dumbass. Four minutes 30? Yeah. Yes. Our demo gets to mid really fast, so... Their demo or your demo? Our demo, our demo. Oh. Holy shit, you're doing what I said to do. Check it out. <gasps> Check it out, whoa! Check it out, big bomb. Yeah, now take it, walk up. Nice. Nice. In that oh. sense, was it bad that I died there? No, because you're the roamer. Alright. Yeah, you closed off. You, the trade, you traded with the you traded with the scout, so that's a really good trade. That was a good mid. She you should keep rolling though. Uh, a little slow. Alright. All right. 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 I think we waited right. for me or something. Alright. No, I mean it's even Ubers. But you guys like you're half in and half out. This is what I was saying before. Like, if you're if you're going, you're going. But if you're just sending a sack or like doing something else, you can just like just chill. But I mean, it looks like you were doing something else. So that, that was actually that was a good play. You got behind them. You sandwiched them. Nice. Where's where are your soldiers? Oh, okay. Yeah, th th this is good. This is good. You guys like you literally sandwiched them. The this is fantastic so far. Your soldiers do need to get in, though. Both your soldiers need to get in. Like, you, both your soldiers need to be, like, shooting these people in the slab. You, both your soldiers need to be, like, in here. Alright. Nice. You need to finish the cap, though. Yo, chill, team. Chill. Chill. We are losing resources, team. Team. Shit. Oh, team, 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 team. Do I, do I do I need to tell you what went wrong? Okay, you you overchased. You just cap. You it, it's like you cap, you stabilize, and then you push. There are times where like you can cap and like instantly push. That's because you're already stabilized. Like everybody's already healthy, you know. But you didn't you didn't cap. You didn't stabilize. So that's that's why you lost. But one of your scouts needs to be like here contesting this guy because he's gonna shit. If he's smart, he's you would have shot on your demo. Um, but it's large to sad, so you're not wrong to play back. But you, I mean, you should recognize that they don't have. So I mean, like your scout could be like peeking, be like okay, they're all in lobby, and then like you could go behind the way, like. Oh no, your scout died. This is so sad. Who is this soldier? Oh, you ran away. Oh, he killed himself. Never mind. I was going to say you should have killed that soldier, but he died. So they have full ad. You have. They're pushing. This is an awful Uber. I don't know why they would ever take this. Even though that your demo dies, it's okay. Because you, you have. You're two down, or they're two down, and you have players behind them. So at this point, you can sandwich them, which is what you're trying to do. You're saying, hey, let's go forward. Jimmy rolls that guy. Oh, but your scouts. Mm. Yeah, it, in, in situations where, like, you have, like, 95, 98, or, like, 95, 96%, you don't have to, like, fucking run through a choke, choke one, because you, you still don't have, right? You can, like, chill in here, wait till you have, like, 99, and, like, go through that same choke one, but, you like, if you see a demo, you're just going to need to use. But, like, again, like, so, I mean... A little, like a little too fast, cause like you didn't have so, and you ran into a demo. It's just like, like when you when you choose to run through a choke point, and you don't have Uber. It's really risky, cause you can just get two piped or like stuffed by a soldier. But if you have Uber, that risk is literally negated, cause you can just go invincible. Okay, look, you go through back door. Um, fair. You use on the scout. This is fine. This is fine so far. That scout needs to die though. Oh, yeah. I you probably could have you probably could have not used there. Just because it was two scouts. Okay, your your scouts owning. You guys should roll forward. Have your flanks out, Cap. You can roll forward. You can go Valley. Because for one, their soldier's dead, so he, he you can't get bomb Valley. Their demo has traps here, so obviously you don't want to push there. So you push Valley, right? This is like your your free option. Remember, Flyboy's in. Your scouts need to get in with your medic. 
Oh my god! Yep. If the demo was smart, he would have looked at his trap. And the people who went bridge would have died. In hindsight, that shouldn't have worked. Because the demo was, has traps here. But... Cool. Solid round. Things to work on so far is just like... Oh, I guess I need to watch more. We need to watch more? No, I need to watch more. Oh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Hey, same mid. You're so- Flavo, you need to jump up here, like, instantly. Hi. I'm there. I think I got to mine. Um, but yeah. If your demo's shooting up here and you jump up here, it's like a free mid. You should leave this mid. This is not. This is literally. I mean, it's winnable if this scout goes huge. Crashing my arm. Yeah, you should just leave. So they kind they met you like right here. Um, and because you didn't have people here, and because Smug didn't bomb from the left, or I don't even know. I think you just you just literally died from the left to something, but. If they're ever here, I I if you're ever too. here, you need to bomb them from the Mela bomb. You know, like, you need to bomb them. Yes! But, gosh! Um, but yeah, they met you, and this wasn't, this wasn't ever, like, contested at all, so a scout got up here and, like, rolled your demo. Um, in that situation, you can send somebody, like, under, like, you, like your scout did. Or um, you could like you or you could like split off and go the opposite side, but it really came down to just like this not being held properly, or like just like your demo just kind of did nothing to like six players who were standing right where I'm looking. Hey, your guy calls that there's a soldier valley. That's fine. Your flank scout literally can just sit here. He doesn't need to be contesting that at all. It'd just be your soldier. Okay, but you guys use into them? Because I think you got a pick. Jimmy, you need to turn around. But you guys... You just left Jimmy. What? You just left Jimmy to... Okay. You... Like, in that situation, you need to follow Jimmy. Like, you... you yeah, you need to follow Jimmy. Like, if you heal Jimmy here, you can back up. But, like, Jimmy wasn't even buffed, and he ran into, like, two people. He was, like, he made every... He literally... Three people were looking at Jimmy. If he had a buff, he probably would have lived. Because he ran up here, and then he would have met with your demo, who was, like, up here. And, you know, I mean... If he was healthier, he probably would have lived. Even though they used later? Like I, they, they, used, they used on a scout who was, like... They used on a scout... Who was here and then the uh, soldier came flying in from valley and landed here jimmy was here the mid was here the mid used like right here so i'm saying if jimmy had a buff he could have either ran back this way and met up with your demo or he could have ran this way and you doesn't like, matter met up with you guys but like just like if you were just like even a little more aggressive you probably could have killed the scout oh um also just to, like as a side note they have the map pull out confirmed map pull uh uh, CP Gullywash F7 Cough Bagel RC5 CP Metalworks F4 CP Snake Water Final uh, 1 Cough Product Final CP Process F11 Cough, Two cough. 15B 3 Cough? 3 Cough, yeah, it's a lot of cough uh, And CP Sunshine Dude, this map pool is incredible It's actually not bad, I actually like this why it wasn't this a thing when when we played? Okay, that's fine. The scout for a soldier is fine. I don't know why you're sacking though, because you're at this ad, or you're at the uh, in the op your defense. But yeah, uh, your scout needs to be watching this since your soldier's dead. But this is this is fine. Also, you don't don't back up. Do not back up. Um. Yeah, you backing up allowed them to like walk forward, but you, they, you, these people should be bombed like right now. This demo needs to be bombed. You need this demo needs to be called that. Hey, the demo's alone. Okay, yeah, a little late. Why are you on the sniper? All right, 
don't think you should be on sniper. Like, sure, you got. I mean, you got two picks. Yes, but someone got and left and forced your meds. Okay. But also, your scout should've been over here. Yeah. Mm, so shoot. It was kind of. It was actually your scout's fault, but I mean, you got two picks, so. It's our, our scout can't play sniper. He's gonna be class restricted, so I wanted to try. I guess. Yeah. Which well, I mean, at, at, at this point, at this point, you need an NG. Because they're not pushing, and your scout's... Your, why is your scout sitting in this corner, dude? Your scout needs to be peeking them. Your, your flank scout's job is to give your team info and, like, tell you where they're going to push before they push. Him sitting in this corner accomplished nothing, and he died for it. And they got and left absolutely uncalled, absolutely for free. So, I mean, in hindsight, don't sit in this corner. You need to be, like, looking at them, preferably from, like, up here. So, if you know, like, okay, they use left, like... You can just jump away, and even if you die, you that forces your team to just come this way, and like they know, just so they know where their team is. But they got on completely uncalled, and that was very unfortunate and very sad. Um, but yeah, it was very sad. Um, also, some place you you don't need to be scared of the shutter. Like you can play like up here. You don't you you don't need to play back. Alright. Your flank scout. S sit here. Or like... Yeah. That's fine. Smug Rebellion? Your health is so bad. Where is me? Where is me? Where the fuck am I? Oh. Your soldiers oh, need God. to... Your you, Both of your soldiers need to be more aggressive. Because your scouts are pushed up here. Right? And as is, you, your job as soldiers and projectile classes is to let them, you can't let them re-enter. So you guys playing passive, you baited your scouts. Because your scouts are up here, they force them off initially, and then it's your job to bomb and take positioning that the team doesn't have anymore. Or that their team doesn't have anymore. So, for example, um, your scout was over here fighting this guy, you could jump that guy, take his positioning, kill him, and then, you know, jump and do something else. And maybe get behind them because they were in, in the house, right? So, um, it's unfortunate, but the more you play, the more you'll, you'll, you'll recognize, like, hey, I need to go forward. But that was, if, you, if you're wondering why you lost that mid, that's why you lost that mid. Where Your soldiers... I from crates, because I was holding from crates, crates thinking... I mean, you, you held crates, like, at the very end of the mid. So, you, what I'm saying is, like, you need to be here faster. Because, like, again, like, your scouts forced them all into this little house. And you bombed crates, or like smug bomb crates, like as they were pushing back in. So he effectively did nothing. Um, if they're ever out, you as a soldier player, you need to like create more pressure. Like you need to deny them from the doorways. You know, if you ever see like a target who's like hurt, like let's say like there's like like your flank, your your flank, like your flank house shits on a guy who's like this red crate, right? Your flank should be able to push this guy for free over here and get a pick, get an entry pick, right? And then they can take this side of the map. You know, and like, Smug's maybe playing here, or, you know, playing here, going behind them, you know, like maybe jumping, try jumping from bridge and get, like, all the way behind them. You know, just stuff like that. Um, it just, like, you, your soldiers are playing really passive, and they need to be more aggressive. Because your, your, sol your soldiers and your scouts need to play off of each other. This is a feed. The super feed. Um, flank scout. Your flank scout, I'm going to reiterate this a lot. Just sit here. You don't need to do anything else on holding second. You just sit here. If when, when, it, when they do push valley, you are going to see them cross like this. Um, you can, and you know, like I said before, when you if they push valley and your soldier bombs, you can sandwich them. You can try to like create a play and sandwich them as your soldier bombs. You know, like maybe wait a few seconds, like okay, I'm bombing now, like wait one second, and then you know you push forward and then you flank them from behind. Um, but like I don't uh, really understand. I guess you you tried to clean up on this guy here, but I mean like, did you have done that? Maybe if you had gotten the pick. It, what would it have accomplished? I mean, your your soldier could have sacked, but um, 
in hindsight, you really just don't need to do anything else. Um, also, your demo, I don't know why your demo's under here. Um, your demo should always just, like, be up here. Your demo should never, like, drop down to fight somebody, unless, like, that's the call. Um... But you're down two, they're down two, they're on their demo. You can get into mid, you can get into mid like here. You should be getting into mid. Because what that accomplishes is they are forced to run into your respawners or run into your team on height while you're while you're capping mid. So they have to make that decision within like fifteen seconds. So if you if you if your team were to just be like, okay, let's they're valley right now, let's walk over in through banana and cut them off. Because we have a demo, they don't have a demo, right? They can't shoot us off hype without bombing into us, right? And we have a we have a scout with us, so if you just trap this off, you know you're you're looking at them as they walk through. They can't really get through without dying, right? And then as long as you're aware of their respawners, you know, like you're holding tab and you're looking at like, okay, the respawners are up now, so they should be here in like five seconds. As long as you're aware of that, you're th that's that would be the best play, in my humble opinion. Um, Smug, you need to bomb them here. Your team has disad. You need to jump them. Even if it's like, you need to just... I didn't go for it because I was way too low. That's, but... that's fine. Yeah, I understand. You were being looked at by like a scout. But, I mean, you're... you're oh my... Bruh. I mean, it's fine. At, at this point, your soldiers need to like, get in. Your soldiers need to get in. This is what I'm talking about. You see? Like... You could be locking off their exits, like you could be like in their valley, like shooting them right now, and because like the more the more time you waste not getting in, the longer, like the the large the bigger the chance grows that their team gets out to the respawners, you know. But they were just super slow to leave. But your soldiers were like one hundred HP. You guys get in, you goobers. Scout feed. Oh. Sad. Mauled. Mauled. Your demo needs to trap this. Always, always trap this. Like, there's no reason not to. I always trap this, and I always trap this. Because you can use your pipes to just, like, shit on people here, and your sol and with your soldier swim as well. So. Just, just a little, a little, a little tidbit. I'm curious as- okay. So, I assume you guys are going for a sack. Maybe not. I don't remember. Alright, your scout dies. I know exactly- Oh, there are combos here. But yeah, you should always- You should always- Like, peek- Where, like, the default hold is first. Especially on this map. That was a good pipe. Um, if you peek here, you can realize, oh, they're in their their whole combos in in house, right? So then, like the valley play or whatever you're gonna do is thrown out the window, right? So you can just like like if you get information here first, and then you can do whatever you want anywhere on the map, right? Because if you don't establish that your team is here, and you go valley, right? You're just gonna get sandwiched. Because their whole combo can roll out here, and your team is here in this tiny choke point, fighting players in front and four players in back. So, just as a as a preliminary precaution, just walk in here first, make sure this is clear, and then you can you know rotate out, leave your demo or your soldier here, whatever, and then you can do other things. Because that that could have been really bad, but you out DM them so. This demo alone. You are a scout. You should not fear this demo. If the demo ever like walks up like this again, you need to like I would just run at this guy. Alright, your soldiers are in lobby. You guys are building. This is fine. Just make sure you have a buff before you do anything. Uh, your playing scout, or, your, or the scout who isn't building, needs to spot where their players are for your team. You, you, yeah, just take left. Make sure someone clears this. Uh, it's usually a soldier. I just like to shoot a rocket, like right here. So I'm like standing here to shoot a rocket, because um, it, it clears that. Okay, so you guys have 50 ad. This is this is pretty good, huge ad. Um, your scout, 
gets an entry pick. Nice coordination from your scout in your demo. You call Hey, the sentry under bridge. That's fine. Smug die. That's fine. Okay, you're taking the Uber, right? This is good. You have two picks. You make sure you need to walk forward and catch your demo. You need to walk forward and mm. let's. Springer. Yeah, you need to jump. You need to jump these players. You jumping these players enables your scout to walk forward. As a soldier, don't play the point. You need to jump them. Okay. Yeah. yeah this is also what I was saying. Yeah, like, you need to, you need to jump them. Point. You need to jump them because they don't have a scout, right? And you have a scout. Your scout can't do like 200 burst damage, unless he's like in their face and he's ubered. So you can. So if you just jump them in that situation, it, it enables your scout to walk forward and clean up on your damage, right? Regardless if you die or not. Like, ideally you don't die. But if it's a 3v3, a soldier and a demo versus a soldier and a scout, you need to be either like launching nukes at them or like be in their face. Like, even if you you should like shot rockets at them, like shot like four rock, four or three good spam rockets at them, like that would have enabled your scout. But of like the three options of getting in their face, spamming them, or playing the point, you unfortunately picked the play the point one. Which I mean, at times you can play the point, Jimmy. You need to look at this guy, dude. This guy is oblivious to what's going on in his team. I think we just wiped them. Yeah, you do, because this guy literally did nothing. But uh, Jimmy also doesn't know that he's that there's a soldier behind him. <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy should be shot at by your demo or your scout. Um, in in hindsight, you walking forward should have not worked because of this guy right here. He should have just turned around and shot you and then turned around again. So in hindsight, um. Fighting against better teams, you need to shoot this guy off a height first before you do anything. And then your soldier can jump up and take his position. Because then it forces them to all be on the low ground. And then, again, that enables your scout to walk up because he's not going to get a shot at this guy who's up here. Is, that, is it all making sense so far? Yes. Okay. So, again, you have large add. It's really important that your everybody is buffed before you push, especially your soldiers. Because the people who are going to be healed in, in the fight are going to be your scout and your demo. Your soldiers are not going to be healed from, like, this point on. So, whatever health you're going into now is the health you're going to end at. Um, but unfortunately, you lose two scouts. This is... I mean, if the heavily dies, your soldiers... Ah, uh, you were weak, grabbing a pack. Alright, that's fair. I will... You should repeak, Smug. You know, grab a pack, repeak. You know, see if you can get a play, like... They were all like you back up, and then like you never repeat. Which I want to see you repeat, you know, because the heavy they were all looking like over here. You could have bombed the med. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, you really need to get in the habit of buffing your players, especially your soldiers, because they're not going to be healed as soon as you were. Um, yeah, your demo needs to trap. Your demo needs to stop single deading, and your demo needs to just trap this shit. You also are gonna die if you do this. <clears throat> you you need to leave since you lost a scout. Uh, all right. I incredible how you didn't get spotted. But I guess it works. I guess he, it works. He went as <laughs> he went, and then right afterwards, everyone else started flooding through that shutter door. Oh, I guess. Incredible. I mean, I it works. It works. Well, no, well, well, no it's just it's like, like it's a supreme game sense, you know. It's, it's just like like when you, when you're fighting against better teams, that will never work okay. because as soon as your scout dies, like I'm sure you have ad, so you could have you have the Uber to fall back on. Um, but like if you're playing against a better team, you would have just been down too, regard like, and you wouldn't have gotten that force. But it did work, and you did set up your team for success, so that was a good play. Um, I just, I just, you know, I, I want you to be cautious of like those kinds of plays because in the long run, they're not really gonna work. Um, but good play regardless. Um, 
But yeah, I like like I said before, um like if you and Smug bomb the left side perfect. Which you did. I mean like if you just bomb the left side and kept the height and wait, you know, wait. like this wait, little wait. piece of height, don't ever underestimate this little piece of height right here. Um, wait, if you, sorry, I was looking away. I, I bombed point. You you bombed left and then Flavio oh, went to the point. point. Yeah. Uh, you you really want to you want to bomb point like when your scout's capping and then they're all forced to like jump down and contest him. That's when you want to bomb the point. Okay. You don't you don't want to be the one initiating the point cap because like un unless they are all dead like you don't want to be the first one to to cap the point you want to be the one like locking off the spawns and shit like that got it because i mean a scout can cap faster than you and you are more you you are more useful alive denying like area than capping especially on metalworks last and really like all last points um but again you have large add um i hope you heard the sentry going up i you're off to take it through main this is fine that's not fine Okay, well, that works. It works though. It works. Um. Yeah, it works. In hindsight, you don't want to use that early, but a double scout through bridge is is a thing that you can do. Um, I just wouldn't have used that early, you know. Um, I would have like maybe spotted a, like very very briefly beforehand. Um. Like okay, the Vicentio on bridge, you know, and then maybe you you dictate where you're gonna push after you spot. But um, yeah, the double scout through bridge is is a viable option if people are holding very close. Um, and which you recognize, hey, the people holding close, we should just take a bridge. Um, but yeah, it worked. Um, it it would it would not have worked if the heavy was not shot at, and if the heavy didn't die or the gun didn't die, it would have not worked otherwise. So again, I I I, he, I I warn you about some plays like that. Um, but that's what I'm talking about. I like how you took this. You took it, like you know, you took it and you established established presence. I would like to see you not fall off. <laughs> I I would like to see you just sort of sit here and establish presence, because the scout that's here is forced to look at you, and he he can't he can't play up here because you're sitting here, right? So. I would like to see you just sort of sit here, and you can obviously you can jump away if you if you are eating a lot of damage. You can jump to here, um, or you know, jump or just like you know fall down and grab an arrow. But you in that mid, you enabled your scout to do scout things. You your scout first forced them off, and then you uh, you bombed it, and then you took it. So that that's good. Um, even Ubers, I think this is where you guys struggle is with even Uber situations. Um, in that case, like if it's even Uber, should we just send sacks? Yes, always, always, always just send sacks. Just default the running sacks first, whether it be for like information or for like, uh, like going for a force. You should always just run sacks in even Uber situations. Oh, that's not good. You need to back up to mid. Um, so Thank they take they take us an exchange. Um, look at what happens here. I think. Uh, Jimmy, yeah, they just took they took a weird exchange. You dropped your demo, and you got I mean like you kind of got body blocked to hell. So I mean unfortunate, um, but plays like that, um, you have to be ready for it. You know, like ideally your medic should not have been healing your scout because your scout should not have should not be up here in the first place. You know, like I said before, like. If you're up here, you risk dying and as a scout. Unless you're up here and you want to push through bridge, you should not be up here. You just let your higher health classes do it. Like your demo. Um, so, um, I mean, sucks. You got exchanged on. Your demo died. Not really much you can do, but it just sucks. You know? But yeah, I like trap and shutter. Um, I want to see you trap... I want to see your demo trap other shit than just shutter. Like, you can trap this, you can trap the box, you can trap this. Like, your demo needs to get in the habit of trapping more than one thing at a time. It's like trapping this, you know, maybe peek in the shutter and trapping this. Yo, or can like. Look at the peak spot through the little, uh, 
Yeah, you can look. You can look at your trap lights through here. But like, since they have Falad, you know, like it's really important that you have traps. I don't. Is your demo have traps right now? Okay. Yeah, your demo needs to stop single deading, and he needs to trap. There we go. That's fine. Tra I, I would always recommend trapping right. Because it is the default. Also, this gun is incredible. It's a very good gun. So, good job on Jimmy's part. I like how you're jumping away. That's something that we, we talked about before, and you would never, you would never, never, you never ever jump away. So, I like that you're jumping away now. Um, but at this point, both of your soldiers need to play on the point. You need to turn around and you need to jump the point. Oh, baby. Oh. The beef. Alright. Fair enough. But, like, as soon as you force the demo out and, like, he's, like, out like this and your rock is ahead of him anymore, you can just focus on something else. Alright. Epic. Good job. Nice hold. But yeah. Um, I want to see your demo trap more than one thing. Like, especially, especially on, like, last holds. Shit like that. Um, they choose to refight. Jimmy is in. Your team is not in. Oh, doggy dog. Unfortunate. Um, I don't know what prompted, I mean, I know what prompted you to push. They wiped. Um, I don't, I don't really know why you were so slow. I assume... You were slow because Jimmy had to swap. I think both of your scouts died. Like, most people died. So if it's ever, like, a double wipe or, like, a lot of people on your team are dead or, like, they wiped, it doesn't really matter. Be Like, it doesn't really matter that they wiped because you guys are going to spawn at relatively the same times. Um, and you guys, for one, that you have to clear lobby. And two, they're probably going to get here faster than you because they don't have to clear anything. They just have to run the second. So if it's ever, it's ever, like, a double wipe situation, you just hold last again. Um, Damn, that kind of sucks. It sucks. So that's why that's why I say like, um, you need to like rotate away from the Uber because the more people you preserve during a last fight, is the faster you can push out. Um, um, you, you're someone needs to be sitting left. Like, you're. This guy on Sniper has no idea that they're pushing left. I'm kind of I'm kind of in awe right now. This guy's an NPC. Bro, Eclipse is all <laughs> flying right now. Uh Alright. L little in awe about that play. I don't think I need to say anything about that. I think you know what went wrong. Um obviously we do not have anybody spotting left. It's really important that you say if you have a sniper, that their combo is left, or they're going to push left, or like their beam is left side. Something to indicate that their heels are left side. So that way your sniper can be like, oh, okay, I guess it's over. Smug, you spot left. I know it's like confusing because we both played it, different we, um, I got, left. I started getting confused because normally when I play Valley, it's flank, but then you, you'd play with me and I'd be confused because normally. Uh, no, I just, like, I don't know, as Pocket Soldier, I like to rotate, especially if, like, we have our demo in-house, so I just want to apply more pressure. I'm cool with you rotating. Maybe, like, I don't I don't want to say rotate less, because you're doing, you're actually doing okay, like, I like the rotations, but, Michael, you remember how Obelix played? No. In our fri fries? Remember how he'd always be playing with the flank? Oh, yeah. 